Hey everyone, welcome back to Pause From Plays Monster Sanctuary. Uh, I did go back and... Oh! Interesting, I didn't realize this was here. Uh, I did go back and do some equipment leveling and things like that. Um, I think I also got one level on Vasuki, which I, I put into, I think, Restore 2. Um, but for a quick thing, I don't think I changed a ton of equipment. Um, yeah, I have the crown on... Um, I think most of this is the same. But, uh, oh yeah, I put the katana on Nightwing. So yeah, a couple of small changes in equipment. I also remembered to feed Solaire. Oh, uh, how can I see that? There we go. Gave him some crit damage and some defense. He was unfed. Uh, is there a hidden wall up here? Yes, there is. I was gonna say, it really looks like it, doesn't it? Ah, I have to use something else. There we go. Get hide plus two. Uh, I sold off some of my stuff, I upgraded some stuff. Oh, these are new. These are uh, glow flies. Let's see, they're weak to earth. Yeah, we can go with this. That means they're weak to poison. Which makes it actually fairly easy. Let's see. We actually don't have a uh, mass poison, do we? Most relying on Vasuki to spread it. Surprisingly, didn't get a burn on Nightwing there. So we're gonna do Rejuvenate, which looks like Dodge and Regen. Ooh, they've also got some uh, some shielding power as well. Cleanse off a bunch of their debuffs. Or a bunch of their buffs, rather. Now, that one's probably dead. The Nightwing is for sure dead. Oh, it's massive overkill, actually. Just got one left here. Overall, gone decently. Very nice. Uh, we would like to get one of those eggs, because we don't have one of those yet. Oh, it's a, a light mole bear, I believe. Yeah. Let's see. Tempt to do Firestorm, um, but we'll probably do Spore Cloud instead. A firestorm would just be to get the burns out there. We'll go with this. The glowflies are pretty weak health-wise. They definitely don't have a lot of health. There's that burrow attack. Well, he poisoned himself as a result. Couple extra hits there, not too many. Hmm. I think we'll just go single target and just try and knock one of these out. Might be able to get a kill on the bear here. I think it'll die to the burn. Yes, nice. Almost took out that first goal of fly, but not quite. Should be easy this turn, though. In fact, it, it might die to residual damage. Not totally sure. Maybe it's not that they have low health, maybe it's just the Acid Rain 4 does a lot of damage. 
Ah, not quite enough to get it. Pretty solid. We finished it full health there, I think. It was a decent force. We got the uh, the light mole bear. Um, we just got a regular one, right? Yeah, we might as well hatch this. And uh, what does it have for a power? When it landing a critical hit, heal the whole party for 20% of the damage dealt. That seems incredible, actually. Could definitely see that having significant use. That's really interesting. Um, let's see, we wanna light these torches here. Oh, and that does open the, the gate as well. Very nice. Got a couple of potions. And a skill potion. I do like those. Uh, do we have anyone we want to use that on right now, though? I don't think so. Oh, that's right. I also, I did figure out who the Shard of Winter goes to. Well, let me use that right now. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, it's playing around off camera. Uh, whoops, that's not what I was thinking of. What am, I, what am I looking for here? My brain is not functioning. There it is, Shard of Winter. Um, how do I... Oh, I have to use that the evolution tree. It's the Minotaur, it's the short version. I'm not quite with it this morning. Yes, yeah, so that that gives us a. Uh, I'm imagining a Megator, so I might do that at some point. If I can remember. Um, I'm gonna try to forego. Well, that actually worked out quite well. I was gonna say I was gonna try to forego the buff this time and see how it pans out, and it might just work. That one might die to the poison, yeah. Now we're gonna take some decent damage here because we're not gonna have any sort of regen, but, or at least no uh, bonus regen. Hmm. Let's go for this. And we'll just try to hit a second debuff on that other one. I got to burn on the wrong one, unfortunately. That's okay. It'll still die pretty soon here. These are a little higher level than the goblins were, since we're higher level now as well. We get a five star there. And we got a glow fly egg and a, a dino. All right, let's, ooh, it's dark down here. Let us hatch the glow fly. Adorable. Um, I'm assuming the Glowfly also provides light. I mean, that would be crazy if it didn't. Yeah. And I'll look at its skills here in a second. So we got a blue gem and crystal shard. Uh, yeah, let's check what the Glowfly has for skills here. It has voltage. Mystify. Interesting. It's got some built-in dodge. It has a lot of buffs. Wow. It's got Enlighten and Rejuvenate, and it has combo buffing. Oh, so the mana shielding must be... Yeah, that's how I was getting that. That's very interesting. The mass buffing, so we would get Sorcery... Sorcery, Barrier, Agility, and Regen. Not a lot of offensive stuff. Um, no Might, basically, I guess is the big thing I'm missing there. Uh, then it's got Solar Rays. It also has some healing and preparation. I don't know, I, I this might be a really good monster, so we'll, we'll keep an eye out for that. I wonder what it's... Um, at. Do we have a Shift Stone right now? I'm not going to use it, but... 
may apply an additional stack of any buff. Um, yeah, light shifted glow fly could be really, really good. All right, we can't get up there. Really? That's crazy to me. We can't go up there. What would we get? Is there just another? Is there really like a triple jump or something? All right, another dark room. Oh, we can find our way through. Dark room with really small platforms. Get some bronze. Uh, yeah, you would not be making it through here without light. He probably could eventually. It would just be really unpleasant. Ah, so we'd have to open that other one from the other side. Ah, uh, that's right. We want to go to... Back to the dungeon. I suppose we'll just use a shard for now and do that. And make our way down there. Uh, we should donate while we're here. I did donate some eggs too. Uh, you know, we didn't get anything major. I think we got another shift stone is, is what happened mostly. Um, there aren't any major progression things with that, so that's kind of one of those things I'm just figuring. Might as well just do off camera. Uh, we can actually also go to the evolution tree while I'm thinking of it and do this. Yes, it was a shard of winter and we'll use it on Minotaur, make it a Megator. Now, the, our Minotaur is pretty low level, so I would have to use level badges or level it up, but that's okay. Uh, let's take a quick look at what it's got here. So it's got uh, Freezing Punches. It also has a Magical one, and it's got a Hybrid Mastery. It's a few stacks of Hybrid Mastery. And it's got these, uh, when you exploit weakness things. Um... There's more damage to shielded enemies too. It also has uh, stone rain. Would probably honestly not build that way. Although it does have what looks like a unique. When a beast monster in your party attacks, it deals 10% more damage for each other beast monster that attacked, that acted before it during that turn. Interesting. Um, and it's got some buffs here. It's also got mana bolster, which is a unique aura. Hmm. Interesting monster. All right, let's head to the dungeon. Speak to our alchemist prisoner. I'm surprised there's not a uh, teleport stone right at it. Good job bringing in that evildoer and keeper ranger. That's how Julia told me about it. Sounds like you're making your family proud. Yep, took care of the Goblin King. Ancient Witch should be safe for now. This is Eric, Keeper Dragoon of our Order. I came to the stronghold when I heard rumors that the Alchemists have been spotted. I know that this masked person belongs to that ancient order. Don't know much about them other than they came to Sanctuary and caused some trouble. Afraid nobody in the sanctuary knows more about them. I mean, we kind of do, don't we? So he's going to interrogate the alchemist. Um, I've only found out from him that the alchemist is the reason why there have been so many champion monsters. They perfected a formula for, for an elixir that can turn a regular monster into a champion monster. Using the ancient woods to gather ingredients. Other than that, we're in the dark for now. Especially down in this prison. Yes, we found a library deep within the Stronghold Dungeon, um, and Will found a book with more information about the Alchemist. I commend you for doing such a good job. You're quite extraordinary, aren't you? But I expect no less of a Spectral Keeper. I'm trying to find out what this Alchemist knows about the leader of the Alchemist of Marduk. How do you know about him? Hmm. 
Yeah, where is your leader? Is he hiding somewhere in the sanctuary? If you give us the information, we might decide to spare you and give you back your freedom. After we've dealt with the others, of course. Tell you since it won't be much use to you either way. We are indeed serving Marduk, the one and only, who has guided our order from the shadows for more than 300 years. He's hiding in the abandoned tower. That's impossible. The abandoned tower has been sealed for hundreds of years. I mean, he did just say that. It's true he sends us our orders through magic, and if he wishes so, he can leave the tower too. But makes for quite a useful fortress for him. It's strange. I'm not sure if we can believe him, but at this point, we have no other choice. The abandoned tower is closed and can only be opened by all four spectral keepers together. If that wasn't enough, its entrance lies beyond the mystical workshop. Is filled with some of the most dangerous monsters, and the key of power is also required to open the door. The key was hidden by a keeper master more than 400 years ago. Nobody knows where it is? Wait a minute, if the tower has been sealed for 300 years, or moderate has been leading for 300 years, but the tower has been sealed for 400... Math. Uh, nobody knows where it is? Could just be about anywhere in the sanctuary? The alchemist found a way to break through the magic barrier of the sanctuary. Their leader might be immortal. Can't put anything past them, so perhaps Marduk is indeed hiding within the abandoned tower. Search for the key of power so you can gain entrance to the abandoned tower. It might be our best bet right now. And we should find more clues by the alchemist and their leader. Eric's going to stay here and keep watch. They could come at any moment to break him free. Godspeed and may you find what you search for in the sanctuary. All right. With that, I think we start heading to some other areas. Maybe, uh, maybe Horizon Beach. We have some things to gather there, too. Um, we want to get a dodo, I believe, is at Horizon Beach, right? Oh, we should visit parents again. Um, yeah, dodo, Horizon Beach. Where are our parents again? I don't remember. They're not in the tower, are they? No. I don't oh, know. No, they're down in this dead end room here. Hey there. Your father and I are so amazed by you. Keep it up. Already a keeper ranger. Here's a reward. Now we get a level 2 reward box. And it gives us a Goblin King egg. Huh. Did not expect that. Now we have more goblins that can we fit in a single party. It's uh, might and power. Heals goblins every turn. Does uh, earth attacks. Has some crit based stuff. Mostly earth attacks. Neat. Now, unfortunately, there's no easy way to get back to Horizon Beach. So I'm just going to try to run through here and uh, avoid as many fights as possible, just because the experience is nice, but we mostly just want to get to the new area. Now, if we do see uh, a shifted like this. Uh, we might want to stop and, and fight them. Because getting a, a special shifted monster is it's always good. Let's 
see. Um, probably do fiery stabs here. Could cast a buff for some shielding, but I think just going offense here is probably better off. Hmm. I think we'll go with fiery stabs first. And then we'll finish off with a claw, see if we can get some leech. Get a little bit of a higher rating. We did get the uh, the light shift to Goblin Brood Egg. Very nice. And out of curiosity. Ah, gets the uh, equipment bonus. Ah, I did not actually mean to run into that combat. That's fine, though. Should be able to finish these off fairly quickly. I think we should get a kill right here. Yeah. Nope, they are going to do Restore. Restore doesn't cure Bleed, though. Might just go single target at this point. Hmm. We could probably set up for a kill on either of these. And that Bleed might do it. Actually, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, you know what? I probably should have gone for Ice Spears there. Ice Spear Volley. I bet we would have been able to kill both. That's fine. Extra level up. Oh, didn't make that jump. I, I wonder, I'm, I'm thinking I'm like, maybe we're better off not even bothering with the buff. Like, can we get enough crit damage going without it that it just pans out? I honestly might. We can probably kill this one right here. Yeah, that might be better. Tough to say. I can't cast that again. Should be able to finish combat this turn. Easily. In fact, just finish it in that cast. Warlock egg for the sanctuary. Goblins tend to. The goblin packs spread out a lot, it seems. Uh, we can't jump up over here, can we? No. Yeah, there's still this space here. Maybe we just get a flight. Maybe that's what it is. Alright, we're in Horizon Beach now. Uh, and there's a house here, actually. Howdy and good day to you, young keeper. You look like you've been traveling all day. Why don't you stop for a moment and take a rest? Well, a stash machine you see before you is the monster farm of the sanctuary. Never heard of it? Wouldn't be surprised. We're off the beaten path, so most stronghold folks never come here. You get too many monsters and you're losing track of a lot of them. This is just a place to go. The whole point of our farms, no long, no charge, no matter how long you keep your monsters here. You don't get anything from me either, though. Just so you notice, know, some folks seem to mix up a farm with the monster or something. Oh, monster army. And I'll keep us thinking very much of that monster army either, by the way. More like a monster daycare. They get enough space to roam around. Oh, we can just leave monsters here. I, I like that, actually. Because there's definitely a lot of monsters we don't use and don't really need. Um, the downside is I don't know off the top of my head all of their abilities. Um, so let's see, we can probably drop off... 
um, one of you two. And... It's a rock obstacle. Okay, uh, what about... You activate earth orbs. So let me think about this. We can we can leave behind these. This uh, is a little tricky without. It would be nice if you could see. I don't know why. Like it's the same screen, right? You really should be able to see those things. We'll get through this though. Some of these I obviously want. Um, yeah, we don't need you. Oh, you know the other problem is too, is that if some of these are going to be things that can be evolved, we're gonna have to come back here to figure that out. Can probably leave goodness. I might have to come back here and, and to deal with this. Oh, there is a uh, a stone here too. Can't go in this house, can we? No. Um. Yeah, I might have to play with this off cameras to store things, but that's good though. I like that. Alright, immediately get some swimming here. A level badge, very nice. Uh, is this a hidden wall? No. Get some new enemies, we got a crab here. You can. Um, they're weak to fire. A high level Vero. Probably wrap up here pretty soon, just checking out some of the new locale. Now, these are gonna be pretty tough fights to start, probably, so. Power level 3, damn. Ooh! <laughs> Must be a unique crab ability there. Get some more burns out, that would be ideal. We also cleanse some of their buffs there. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a second burn stack off a of solar ray there. Fortunately, they're not uh, they're not that damaging to us, and we're healing a decent amount. Nice, we got extra burns on all of those. And in fact, this they should be dead this turn. I don't think it even really matters what we do on this one here. Nice. Four star. We did get a crab. Let's get a new Vero. Let, let's pause here and we'll do our uh, our skill ups and stuff and then we'll we'll end up the episode So let's see uh, I think repeat ones. I'll just do off-camera since you know Obviously, we don't really need to do that uh, for this. I would probably build down uh, These this freeze tree Snow veil well, that's kind of an interesting one I wonder if we would want a neutral attack. Maybe. Oh, that's one of the it's the the high damage single punch. Sure. 
sure. Snow Veil. Um, we probably want Protector and have you get some buffs. Alright, so we have the Goblin King, I think. The Glowfly, too. That's right, the Glowfly is super buff town. Uh, we would absolutely, if we're gonna use this one at all, it would definitely be max buffing. But I don't see a reason to use it otherwise. So we're going to do that. Mana shielding. Probably dodging, too, honestly. Uh, it does need some offense. Mana procs. Uh, we would definitely want preparation. Uh, we would want buffing shield too, honestly. Oh, it has auto heal pretty early on. That's also pretty interesting. Uh, we need to go probably down the shock route for this. We would certainly want dodging. Yeah, very defensive, high buffing. Interesting, uh, interesting monster. Uh, the Goblin King, I'm not really sure. We would obviously need to get Goblin Provisions. That's a no-brainer there. It does have Revive. Can Revive heal? Like, can you just use it on a non-dead target? Not really sure. It's got a lot of overloads as well. Sure, always good. Yeah, this one's tough to build. It's, um... I feel like it's just not very... It's almost got too many different things, you know? Critical ground, mana focus, health focus, lots of focus. That's what we would want to revive. Severe Cuts is interesting. I don't know how good it is, though. Critical Mass is good. Sure, let's go with that. Uh, the light... That one I'll, I'll do later. So that you can. This is the new one. Aqua Blast. Where is that Pinch attack? What exactly does that do? Applies Armor Break. Armor Crush. Precision. First hit of an ability. So this is this benefits like single hit attacks. Huh. Converts the element of all neutral attacks to water and water attacks ignore water resistance. That seems amazing. Uh, what has it got here? And it's got might phalanx. So it's got shielding too. In defensive proc, so it's a very hefty. A lot of cool stuff here. Defensive healing. Alright, so if we were gonna go. We need slash level 2 to get down there. Would we want pinch? I mean, we'd want critical break and armor crush and precision. Uh, we certainly want Long Slash, the Weapon Break, and that Water Allegiance. It's interesting, like, would we even want Pinch? Like, probably not, right? Oh, I guess it does do more damage. It just doesn't have the bleed effect. But it's, it's special, right? It's kind of interesting. We want the water affinity. Uh, we definitely want critical liquid. Or do we? 
Yeah, because it converts everything to water attacks. So we'd want to get down there. We probably wouldn't use Aqua Blast, right? Like, what's the point? And then defense proc. And this would give you crit chance focus. Water surge is interesting, but not probably necessary. Critical mass, very good. Uh, very interesting. Buffing shield is good. More defense proc. Yeah, I could I could see myself potentially using that one. Uh, all right, so Nightwing, you will take. Ooh, maybe buff charging. He's just not using that many buffs, but we will in like bigger combats. Actually, we'll probably just give you the crit chance plus. It's kind of a no-brainer, actually. Uh, Solaire, you will take maybe defense focus. Either a crit high or probably defense focus. Yeah, it's just a free boost, basically. Uh, let's see, Wolf will take Outlast. Brulu. Probably get Acid Tempest too. We need to buff these uh, area effect attacks. I noticed too, I haven't really, <laughs> really haven't picked up a lot of the, uh, just like passive bonuses. I, I know those are actually really strong. They're just less interesting. Oops. Uh, Mad Eye, you will probably take. That's a tough one actually. Maybe Spore Clown, because we've got some of the others covered. Tough call. Cascade seems okay. We'll go with Spore Cloud too. Uh, and Vasuki, you will probably take. This one's a tough call, actually. Maybe we get Fire Shield here. Alright, and that will do it for now. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Did click like, helps a bunch. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.